there's this evangelism which says, you know, go vote, go vote. It's so important that you go vote. Yeah. And, 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 and mm -hmm. it's just silly. And I, one of my comments on Facebook today was, if you are one of those people evangelizing and preaching to everyone that you must go out and vote, and it's so important that you go out and vote, do you buy a lottery ticket? Because you, <laughs> you better be buying a lottery ticket if you want to sound consistent at all. There are millions of people going out and voting, and the odds of your vote having any ch chance of impacting things in any significant way are as trivial as you as your chances of winning the lottery when you go and buy a lottery yeah. ticket. If you don't buy a lottery ticket every week, you have no right to complain about being poor. <laughs> because it, there's this process there for you. If you're poor, there's this process whereby you could have a chance of, of changing things. Mm -hmm. So don't, and you didn't do that. So you don't have any, you didn't take the opportunity that was provided to you. So you don't have any right to complain about being poor. And here's the thing about evangelizing. But if you're an evangelist, it's because your faith is on shaky ground. And this is I this is an opinion I have about people who are who are ranting about a religion. And if someone has a religion and it just seems inherently silly and they're but they're just evangelizing all the time and trying to get other people to believe it, they need other people to say, Yes, yes, I believe what you believe too. I, I other people want people need to believe in this process because it's the only thing that gives them comfort that yeah. they have some say in their government. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and if you don't go out and vote true. and stuff like that, it's like that, that, doing that, they've been told that that means something and they need it to mean something otherwise what what's going on